Hi guys, Sandy here. Super quick little project for you today. We're going to make a tool dress up skirt for um, a little girl. Maybe you'd like one, but this happens to be for my two year old granddaughter. So I have a yard of ribbon. Uh, it's a inch and a half wide ribbon, whatever you have. And then I bought a yard of tool. It is got these cute little psychedelic embossed rainbow uh, foil animal figures on it. So I bought a yard of that and this is 36 inches wide. So I'm going to cut it into three strips that are about 12 inches each. So I'm going to fold the salvages together. That's the edge where it's on the loom. So that's the salvage. So I'm going to fold the, fold the salvages together. It just makes it easier to cut if I don't have as much to cut. All right. Make sure it's nice and neat. This is for dress up, so we're not going to go crazy. And I'm going to fold it in half again. And so now I have this piece that is 36 inches long, approximately. I didn't cut the ends very straight. And I'm going to rotary cut three pieces so they're 12 inches long. There you go. Now this happens to be a one-way design, so I'm going to make sure, oh, maybe it's not. So I'm going to line up my pieces, one, two, three, on top of each other, give it some volume. And if they're not quite the same size, that's okay, because having a little extra down at the hem, different lengths will give it some fullness. All right, so I'm gonna add, take all three layers and just pin them together. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want them all about the same at one end along with the length because it's easier when they're, especially with three of them and this tool is fussy. There's three of them, so three layers, so we're gonna pin them all together. Just so when I take them to the machine, and baste them, it will be easier for me because it's easier to do it while I'm here. And again, right, it's not, we're not looking for perfection. This would be really cute if you had like a purple tool and you, this was the top layer. This happens to be the only, or blue or green or, so you could put a couple of different really fun layers underneath and then this on the top because you can see my animals are kind of like in shadow. So you could, if you had a lot of grandkids or a lot of little girls to make this for, you could get one yard of this really fun fabric and then just the simple tool, which is, gosh, pennies, right? It's, I don't know, $2.99 a yard or something like that at, at Joann's. So I'm sure it would be super inexpensive. And if you got one yard of this fancy stuff to go on the top, you could have a whole bunch of these little guys and they would be so cute. All right, now that I have this pinned, these three layers pinned together, I'm just going to baste them. I'm going to do two rows of basting, which is the largest stitch I have on my machine, so I can gather them. And after I finish basting them, I will be back. All right, I'm back. I've basted these three layers together, and the goal of the basting is twofold. So you can see here on the edge, I have two rows of basting, did it in red, and that goes all the way across. So it holds the three layers together, and if you pull on the top two threads or the top bottom threads, the two bottom threads, so if you take a hold of these two top threads here and you pull, it will gather all of this up. Now, these skirts are everywhere. I mean, if you actually made a skirt and sewed the back seam, you could put a layer or two of this tool and then a, a solid layer underneath. The only thing you don't want to do is you don't want to pull this so far that you're going to pull it out the other end. So I'm going to do about half. 
I'm gonna get it all nice and scrunched up together. Then I'm gonna go to the other side because I don't wanna pull my threads, I don't wanna pull my threads all the way through. So you can see my threads are here on the other side. So I'm going to pull these. So I grab the two top ones, two top threads. And I still have these two in the back. I'm just gonna pull these again. All right. So like I said, if you had a skirt, if you made a little skirt, you could just sew a seam up the back and add this on top of that solid skirt and you would get the same type of effect, but it would be wearable. This, for this purpose, it's just a costume. It's just for fun. All right. So it's all gathered together. I have my little skirt. Now that's probably too small for her. So I'm gonna let it out a little bit. She's just gonna tie this around the back because it's just for play. So I have the desired little skirt that I like. Look at how puffy that is, right? And the, uh, the bottoms are e uneven. It's okay, that's the look. And now I am just going to, with this all gathered like this, I'm going to pin it to my ribbon. Then when I go back to my machine, I'm gonna use a regular stitch to hold this together. So you know what, I'm just gonna tighten this up a little bit. There we go. So you can see I'm just pinning this around. So if you were going to make a regular skirt out of this, you would probably attach this little ruffly tool thing to the skirt and then put the waistband on. That's what I would do. All right, all the way to the back. I'm gonna take this to the machine and I'm gonna stitch it probably up at the top and down at the bottom. I'm gonna go back to a regular stitch uh, because I want it to stay. The basting is really only temporary, all right? And I have left little tails at the end because this is going to be a tie-on. I'll be back. All right, all right, here we are. This is so stinking cute, oh my gosh. So the last, I stitched, and I just rough stitched. I stitched it to the ribbon because again, it's dress up. You could make this really cute and make the ribbon the waistband. I wanted something that was gonna be really sturdy because this is gonna end up being thrown around in the toy box, but this is literally just for dress up and twirling. Very important when you're two, the twirling is the most important thing in the world. So now you have all these basting stitches. You can see them, they're still here in the back. So I wanna pull those out because those are just gonna be strings. And if you give them a good tug, they for the most part will come out. You might have to go fetch a couple of them. All right, so you're gonna go through that. You can put a little angle on the ribbon just to add to the cuteness. There you go. That took maybe 15 minutes, all right? And so much fun, 15 minutes and under $10 and you have the cutest little toy for them to play with. And if you spend a little more time, you would have a really sweet little skirt to wear. I hope you'd enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, tutorial on a dress up skirt. Bye for now.